So my name is Doug. I'm with DNM Reptiles. Uh, uh, we breed snakes and lizards. Uh, we also make YouTube videos. That's what this is. Uh, we're trying to give out some information what we've been learning along our journey. We're new to Super Dwarf Locale Breeding. That's what this video is going to be about. Uh, so if you're looking to buy a Super Dwarf or you're getting into Super Dwarf Breeding, uh, I think this information is something that you absolutely should listen to. So stay tuned. One thing that we have discovered is that there's a lot of bullshit out there especially when it comes to locale and uh, where people got their snakes. Um, there seems to be a significant amount of breeders that um, will just slap a, a locale on an animal um, and then sell the babies as that to, to, um, just to get a little bit more out of them. Um, whether that be not having the knowledge or um, literally doing it uh, maliciously. Uh, seems to be kind of a joke going around with new breed, you know, older breeders, uh, you know, kind of making fun of new super dwarf breeders and keepers, uh, you know, just kind of getting took for, you know, their money took. Um, thinking they got a specific locale um, a lot of the times I don't think I don't think these people do the legwork to, to find out if they are getting ripped off um, well we were one of those people uh, you know we were excited when we first started breeding super dwarf locale super dwarfs um, um, and then as we got further into it and talked to some of the professionals out there and you know started meeting some of these people uh, we started looking into where we got a lot of our animals um, from different breeders from different places uh, you know there's two of our animals um, that we had to sell because we couldn't we couldn't prove their locale you know um, uh, as much as I want to gaslight these other breeders um well, that's just not what we you know that's not the reputation that we want here at dnm um but yeah you you need to be vigilant when you're gonna buy an animal uh you need to know who you're buying them from and check their story uh, that's what we found out we went back and checked checked these people's stories and found out it was bullshit <laughs> fucking bullshit uh you know, uh, one person that has helped us a lot in this is Andrew Acevedo. As As Acevedo, I always screw up his last name, but Andrew at AA Exotics. Um, I'll see also Rodney Bullich, Boilich. Uh, those guys are awesome. Um, shout out to them. I'll try to link uh, their Instagrams or uh, YouTube pages uh, right here somewhere. Yeah, those guys are awesome. They really gave us a lot of information. Um, come to find out too that uh, you know some of the real big wigs uh, they they don't always want to answer questions or um, you know they already got their foothold on the market, so they they don't really need to um, to reach out to the beginners. You know what I mean? Uh, and help them take you know. You know, you, you can't expect to, you can't expect people to hold your hand. But that, that is what, what we found out is, um, at least three of our animals, uh, you know, now we have to sell them as what we can prove, you know, even though we bought them as something else. But you start saying stuff like that, like, oh, well, I bought it as, uh, Kalatoa. You know, it's pure Kalatoa. I bought it as a Kalatoa. Yeah, well, where'd it come from? You know, you have to be able to prove those things. Um, I have one animal that uh, one of the breeders claimed uh, the parent to be 100% Jampea Platinum Annery. Um, first of all, that's impossible. Uh, maybe not impossible. It would have to be like a wild caught. 
Um, but I would imagine some of these bigger names in breeding would have heard of it, especially because you have a, a wild caught platinum, Jampea. I mean, that's the only way that I can think of that happening. Um, but then they come back, oh, no, 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 it's uh, 50%, you know, so, oh, okay, that's half, so go ahead and half what you have, but then you still can't even prove it. So you got to sell it as some random shit, and I'll tell you right now, when you try to sell an animal, and they ask you the locale and percentage, and you start going, well, let me tell you the story, so I got it from this guy, he said... That it was 100%, and, you know, so that's what it is. And then you call that guy, and that guy's like, no, it's this, and uh, I got it from this guy. A bunch of he said, she said bullshit. I'm just saying, be careful out there. Um, check your sources. Uh, um, what we're going to do here at DNM is uh, we're going to start files on all of our animals, um, and they're going to get a... They're going to get a certificate when we sell an animal, and when we sell an animal, we're going to put a duplicate certificate in our files. Um, that way, when anybody calls to check uh, with us, we can pull it out and tell them exactly what we got. Um, it definitely put a kink in our armor, for sure. Uh, it's a weak spot. So if you're going to be buying Super Dwarfs, check your sources. Um, yeah, it's shitty. It's real shitty, uh, especially a lot of times with shipping animals. What are you gonna do? You know, ship it back. <laughs> you know, it's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, just that's just one little piece of advice that I found with my short time in uh, Super Dwarf locale breeding. Um, so, and a little bit more on that topic, um, we actually have proof that a breeder, a fairly large breeder on Morph Market, uh, we found out that he was misrepresenting his animals. We actually even bought one from him. And after all the research and proving him wrong and him admitting it, he still has animals on Morph Market that he hasn't changed the percentages of. So... Just be careful out there. Make sure you know where you're buying your animals from. Verify it. This is Athena, our pure turnate. I fixed the light in there. Um, I was hoping to get you guys a shot up there. Woo! So this animal was produced by Rodney Bolich and uh, uh, Andrew Acevedo. Um, yeah, if you want animals that you know they are what they say they are, um, those two guys are absolutely legit. This is a Ternate Island. She gets a little... A little crazy if you interrupt her while she's trying to eat. We're working with her though. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit the bell uh, if you think this information was helpful. Uh, thank you.